So what I'm doing right now is I'm laying out all of the fascia boards. I'm cutting them to length, trying to, and laying out all the fascia for the guys so they don't have to keep jumping up and down off the scaffolding as much. So what I'm doing right now is I'm pre-drilling. We have color matched screws, or a screw that we found that we like the color of that looks pretty good on this board, but they stick through too long. They're, they're, they're a two and a half inch screw, so they poke through the inside of the framing, uh, the outside room boards. So we cut all the screws down to an, two inches, or about an inch and a half, or something like that. So they don't poke through the backside of the framing, and then that way we don't have to go back and grind them all off, because it's hard to get the grinder in certain spots, and when you look up, you see all these screws poking through, so we thought we'd cut them down. But because we did that, we have to pre-drill the holes a certain way so that when this screw tightens up, it, instead of it, cause it'll stay like this, unless we cut this relief cut in it, then it'll go down flush. So that's what I'm doing, is trying to make it easier for these guys to be able to lay out their, or to install the, the boards, and I'm trying to get the layouts done, amongst the chipmunks. We just blow power. So I had went to put this up on the scaffolding and I dropped it and it dinged up this end, but we used some heat and we're able to mold it back into place so I don't have to replace this board because each one of these fascia boards is about $100 a piece. So I, it's a $50 piece of material really. So for me to have to replace it just because of one ding, $50, I'm pretty happy that turned out the way it did. The way we wrap our decks is a little bit different than a lot of people. A lot of guys will just take the deck boards and run them past the deck and then butt their fascia below it and call it good. We like to do a double step fascia. It adds a really nice detail to the look of the deck. We like to bring all of our fascia boards flush with our deck boards and then we put a piece of thinner fascia below that. So we cortex the upper section because it's actually a solid deck board, not grooved for the top section. And then the lower section of the fascia, which is what I call the double step, is out of a piece of one by 12 that uh, comes up to 12 feet long, or it comes in one length is 12 feet. And so we kind of stagger it so it has a staggered look. And it's really, we're attaching to the same depth, but we have a thicker piece on top and then a thinner piece below. So it kind of sticks out a little bit and it adds a nice detail to the deck. And I don't like running 12 inch wide fascia boards solely without because the miters never stay together um, you can get some oil canning in it and that kind of thing i've already had some people comment on the screws we're using these are timber tech branded top lock screws they are recommended for doing what we're doing we're putting them every 12 inches so if the fascia has an issue that's why another reason why i don't use full width fascia because a half a piece of fascia isn't going to have the tendency to do this as much as a big piece will. So that's where we're at and we're just starting to work our way around the deck right now. guys thanks for watching i really appreciate it uh, hopefully you learned a little something about how we hang fascia and how we install it and the look we're going for if you like what you saw you learned a little something today don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content also comment below and hit that like button if you're so compelled thanks for watching have a great day